Hello, hello everybody. Uh, I will uh, share with you today uh, my research about budgeting in Iceland, which I have called Budgeting in Iceland and Beyond uh, Performance. So I am here a PhD student at the Reykjavik University and this is uh, in very short time uh, a, a resume about my uh, budget, my PhD research. So in a theory, uh, budgeting is actually has been recognized to be the cornerstones of management control processes in companies. And it is considered to be the center stage of uh, management. Uh, researchers or academics, as Malmi and Brown, consider budgeting to be so important that they actually place uh, the budgeting in the center of uh, their management control framework. And they consider that budgeting is the only management tool that is uh, connected to every department uh, and subunits in a company. Budgeting is also one of the most uh, studied phenomenon in business administration, as seen in Kovaleski and Al in 2003, and it has actually been researched under different angles and uh, theories. Uh, research, research which have been conducted re recently in Europe and in the United States, uh, mainly by the CIMA or the Chartered Institute of Management Accounting, have proven that budgeting is the most widely used management accounting tools uh, in the world. Uh, in this CIMA research uh, conducted in 2004, uh, we had 90% of firms contacted who actually uh, prepare the budget yearly. We have a similar research which was conducted in 2014 here in Iceland and 99% of the firms contacted uh, actually prepared uh, a, a budget. Um, so this is a little bit about the theory background uh, of the research. Uh, budgeting has many many roles for a company but unfortunately when we talk to practitioners, budgeting is mostly seen to be uh, management control tools, tools, meaning that we are always checking that what needs to be done is done. This is a fact, budgeting is a management control tool, but there are also many other roles of budgeting within the company. The first role that we could name is uh, the objective and target setting role of the budgeting. The budget should help the company in putting up objective and goals and targets in front of them. Then it's a motivation tool. Uh, the budgeting should help the employees or should motivate the employees to reach these objectives and targets that the company has placed in front of themselves. It's also a planning tool. How is the company or the employees with the companies going to go forward into reaching these objectives, targets and goals? It's a communication tool. Uh, the budget should help the company communicate all these goals, objectives and targets within the company and sometimes outside the company for shareholders. It's also a coordination tool uh, to help all the resource allocation and coordinate these resource allocation. And of course, a performance measurement tool measuring how we are doing. Uh, unfortunately, uh, the re recent research have forgotten all these different objectives and looked at them on very different, uh, very separately. Another uh, problem we have in the re recent research is uh, the connection or the difference between traditional budgeting and beyond budgeting. In recent research, uh, both these methods have been looked at as two different groups uh, and two different, uh, like a little bit like two different football teams. This is a fact that maybe you cannot support one football team uh, and, and be friend with the others, but with beyond budget, with the budgeting research, it's very, very strange to see how we just separate them as being opposite. Uh, the beyond budgeting literature is actually mainly based on practitioners uh, literature and uh, practi practitioners critiques about the traditional uh, budgeting. And the beyond budgeting literature has mainly been uh, 
focusing on criticizing what we call the traditional uh, budgeting methods. And all this brought me actually to, uh, all this reading has been bringing me to the idea that maybe we should look better into that because the beyond budgeting literature, as I said, is only based on practitioners' uh, experiences and we have no evidences that what they are actually criticizing about the traditional budgeting is true. So I came up with one main uh, research question, which is, is traditional budgeting methods uh, outdated for a modern environment and are other methods uh, suitable? So basically I am going to check or I want to study if the traditional budgeting method is really outdated, as mentioned by uh, the beyond budgeting literature, and see if the beyond budgeting method is more suitable than today. And from this main research question, uh, I have four uh, other research questions, which are what are the roles of budgeting in the modern uh, business environment? So how do practitioners actually look at the budget in the current business environment? I uh, also uh, want to see how the processes of budgeting in the modern uh, business environment is seen and how firms are actually uh, producing their own budget. We have very old research on the subject but nothing very recent and so many things have changed since the first research have been conducted. Um, <coughs> Another uh, question which I really would like to have an answer about is uh, does uh, the, the budgeting process affect the performance of the firm? Uh, we can also look at if uh, the budgeting method has an effect on the performance of the firm. And uh, the last one but not the least one is uh, to study how the budget has an impact on the employees. Is there a difference between uh, the traditional budgeting method and the beyond budgeting method on the employees? Uh, to look a little bit and get answers to these questions, the idea is to uh, conduct a survey among the 300 largest companies here in Iceland and we are going to conduct the same survey in Denmark. The reason why we want to conduct the survey in both countries is because they have uh, a different environment, business environment, and we would like to make sure that the environment doesn't play such a big role in uh, our research. The reason why we chose Iceland and Denmark, it's not only because uh, we are you know, old good friends, but they, uh, both countries uh, have old historical connection, commercial connection, uh, and the business environment is quite uh, similar. So the survey will be sent to companies here in Iceland uh, at the beginning of the summer, and we hope to get as many uh, responses as possible. Thank you.